Hey, this is Charles Calhoun, a.k.a. The Shade Tree Crew. I'm going to talk about a little bit today about one of my favorite golf swings. And I've got video out there. And I'm telling you, young brothers, and this is definitely for young brothers especially, a lot, a lot of these cats from back in the day was so good. Take Bobby Jones for an example. They copied swings. And if you got a swing that's making millions of dollars, you know, you need to copy it. You need to learn about it. Uh, forget yours. Learn about that one that's producing. You know, I know that's thing, swing your own swing. Well, you know, uh, swing a swing, learn a swing that's good. Because if you copy a swing that's good, chances are, you know, you might find a lot in it. One of my favorite swings out there still to this day is Harold Varner Jr.'s golf swing. Congratulations to you, young brother, for finally, you know, getting into the Masters. But he's playing good golf, and didn't nobody give him the Masters. He earned his way in there with his victory over overseas and great finish at the players. But if you look at Harold's swing, you know, everybody knows I'm a big Mo Norman fan. I mean, Harold's got a wide stance. But, you know, and, but, and, and I've talked to people about Harold's swing, and everybody's like, oh, he really gets to his left side. No, if you really pay attention to his golf swing, the, him getting over here to his lead side, that's just the aftermath of him learning how to get to his tra his trail side so he can stay behind the ball. So, I mean, when he sets up there, I mean, he's just he's got a wide stance, nice grip, good ball location. And when he makes his turn, see, when he comes through, you can see it. I mean, he's got a little break in this. Like when he comes down, that knee breaks. And he's behind the ball, and it's like he's pushing through the ball, not trying to get to his lead side, but pushing that energy through the ball. And then he comes around. I mean, he's just got so much momentum from the top of his body, top down, top swinging, that he gets him around there. But to me, if I would say what was so great about Earl's golf swing, I think it's his head, and not the thinking part, but his head and how he controls his head. A lot of people don't understand wherever your head is, is where your weight is. For an example, if my head is back here, then that's where my weight is. Why? Because if I'm equally balanced, and if I put 25 pounds or whatever on this side, then I'm going to have more weight on that side. If I get it over here too soon, then I've got too much weight there, and that's one of the reasons a lot of people hit it, hit it, get real steep on it. So, me, as I said, I think the, the, the power to his swing or the key to his swing is, is, is the way he moves his head, and he does move his head. He turns it back a little bit there, and when he comes through, his head doesn't stop so all of this can go through. His head just keeps moving, and that's what you gotta do. So he sits there, he feels, makes his move, and he comes on around. And I mean, it's not that difficult of a swing, really for beginners, because, I mean, it's just a great swing. It really is. You give credit where credit is due. He's there, and it's just like you can sit there and just hit all kinds of shots. So, bros. <coughs> You try to, you, I, I've heard, a, I remember one day I was talking to this young sister on the range and she told me that I was talking about golf swings and I said, if you had, what if you had Jim Furyk's golf swing or something of that nature? And she said, oh God, I wouldn't have that for it. I was like, that, that swing made $64 million. So, you know, compare it to your swing. What does your swing make? And see, and that's the thing you gotta look at. There's quality in these swings, and Harold Varner Jr., just for us, it is one of the simplest and easiest swings to repeat. It really is. Once again, it's a nice little wide stance. He's there, and he does have it where he'll bring it in a little bit on the irons. His posture is good, and he sets up. And he just go, and you can see it, the momentum of his upper body going there. And it ain't, it ain't all this jacking of his hips doing all that. It's not that. It's not that. It's just the momentum of his swing, which is, which is the upper body. It's the momentum of his swing that's getting him through it. And you know my philosophy, upper body, middle body, and lower body. And his is his upper body, upper body, shoulder girdle, 
pivoting around his middle body, which you'll learn about that in my books, that my ebooks to come, in which I've talked about that before. But I'm telling you, give his swing, I mean, give it the credit that it deserves, man. I mean, you, you want to be elite, you teachers out there, you want to be elite teacher, you want to be next level, this guy's making millions of dollars with his golf swing, and right now, as far as bros, he is just, he's doing it. So that's the swing you should be talking about. That's why all you black teachers, that's you want to talk about an elite swing, build his swing up. Get these young brothers and young sisters or whatever to get the follow in that swing. Because why? It produces and it makes millions. That, and that's just all, it, and it make cuts. So that's the bottom line. So once again, you know, Earl Varner Jr., beautiful golf swing, and it still follows under, under my shade tree pro principles, plain and simple, ball location, setup, grip, take away swing. There's the ball location, got a good setup, my grip, take away and swing. Charles Calhoun, AKA the Shade Tree Pro. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and always good golfing.